Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warren and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going over what exactly I paid to lease my 2020 Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition. So let's jump right into it. So thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a little reminder, I am giving away a $100 Amazon gift card on Friday's video. Link is below how to enter for that. So today we're gonna go over my exact numbers that I paid to lease my 2020 Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition. Now, if you know anything about the Launch Edition, it's exactly the same as the Rubicon. It just has an extra badge on the back and a leather dashboard instead of a red plastic dashboard. Hopefully this can help you guys figure out if you're in the ballpark figures of leasing. I'm not expecting my deal to be the best deal out there. I'm just sharing with you the exact numbers I paid. So maybe it will help you guys out. One thing I forgot to mention is this is a 36 month, 12,000 mile annual lease. MSRP was $62,310 for this car. After I negotiated a 6.3% discount, the vehicle came out to $58,375. Now, most people think this is the out the door price. No, this is your negotiated price before all the fees. So let's jump into the fees. First, the fees will be different area to area because tax is involved, but my taxes were $2,170.25, a title fee of $25, a lease acquisition fee of $695, and then a dealer fee of $300, leaving me with a price of $61,565.25. Now, if you look at the MSRP to that price, that's a 1.1% discount off MSRP for the out the door price. Now, I put $3,000 down on this car. So where did the $3,000 go? So $2,009.61 went to the capitalization cost reduction, which I'll jump into in a bit. $689.39 went to the first payment and $301 went to title and registration fees. I don't exactly know what the $25 was before, but they probably just pocketed $25 from me. Remember that $61,565 I talked about earlier? You take that number minus the $2,009.61 from the capitalization cost reduction which gives me a capitalization cost reduction of $59,555.64. This is what I am basing my lease off. This number is where you get your lease numbers from. A couple other numbers before we jump into my monthly payment. The residual value on a car is important when you're talking about leases. Uh, normally, the higher residual, the better, but some deals work the other way around. So with the 63% residual value on this car, that's $39,255.30. That's what this car will be worth in 36 months. That's what they're guessing, but that's what they are going to value the car on. Now that leaves me with a depreciation of $20,334. Now that $20,300, that's actually what my monthly payments are based on. I have to pay all of that. So with the depreciation talked about, there's also something called a rent fee. Now the rent fee is essentially the interest that you are paying to lease this car. Now interest is called money factor when you talk about leases and my money factor is 0.00125, otherwise known as 3%. I pay $4,500 and $17.70 over the 36 months in rent. That is the interest I'm paying in order to rent this car, not my payment. The payment is also taken from that depreciation. So with all of these numbers thrown around, what exactly do I pay a month? Well, I pay $689.39. Is that a good deal? I believe it's a good deal. That's why I got the car. I did quote this vehicle from a couple other dealerships, the exact same one I found in Wisconsin. I live in Illinois and they quoted me with the exact same parameters, $806 a month because their money factor was much higher. Now guys, I'm not telling you I have the best deal out there. Hopefully you can find a better deal, but I just wanted to do this video to help give you guys a ballpark on what you're looking for when you lease. If you want to talk about leasing versus purchasing, I can also make a video about that. Hopefully guys, that helps you guys figure out if you are getting a good deal, bad deal, if you 
want to be in the ballpark these are actual numbers that i pay to lease my jeep gladiator so thanks a lot for tuning in if you found this information useful give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button but until next time i'll see you then